I don't know if we mentioned that. Apparently, it's gonna take a break this week, so no episode, no new episode on Tuesday. So. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. At least that's why I heard. So. But don't blame me if it actually does happen. You know, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out, just in case. Definitely. So, uh, how do you guys feel about the the theme of the show now? It looks like everything's kind of becoming more serious. Yeah, uh, I, I liked I liked this episode a lot. Yeah. You know, it makes me not that I didn't care for the four main girls. You know, in prior to this, but mm-hmm. um, it's good to get you know that backstory of why they act the way they do and kind of what led them to you know the actions that they take in this kind of anime. So. I mean, I think this this definitely solidified like the weapon that they use is it's definitely something that's like really impactful for them. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think we we kind of knew, but I think this is basically like uh, like a definite thing now that we know. I don't know if you guys would agree. No, I I, I totally <laughs> okay. do. Um, yeah, no, it makes sense, right? Pen for yeah. the school, scissors for the cutting. Um, oh, pen! I didn't even think of the pen for the school. I just assumed it was something else. I mean, that's, that's all that I could think of, right? Like, okay. why else would? The pen be signifying, right? Uh, yeah, like it's got to be something though. Because well, I think like easy. the different colors that the pen has, because it's one of those like three color like switch pens, and I I didn't know if it had anything to do with like her multiple eye yeah, colors as yeah. well. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's possible. But but I like the I like the school thought though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely I works as that. well. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the school and the eyes like it actually both really make sense. But um, so we'll see. But yeah, I don't know about Nehru and Momo though, because what Nehru just has like a gun, right? Is her a like big gun, dude? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, maybe does it change? I thought it changed. I think Watch it changes that. to like a sniper rifle and like other variants most of a gun, time. but still right. like a gun for the most part. And uh, that brings up the fact that we learned in this week's episode that Nehru either doesn't know her parents at all, or something happened to them before. Or like right after she was born, she never had any kind of experience. So she's basically like the Batman of this series. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Because yeah, she's, yeah. she's she's a girl. I like this I'm mega Batman. million dollar like corporation. So, but was but was Bruce Wayne this depressed though? I, think I mean, he, he, didn't, bit... he, he didn't come Batman, so I, I don't know. I'm no. sorry to all you Batman fans, but uh, I just... apologies for everybody who does funny. not enjoy my wild takes. It's just the things that come <laughs> into my mind. Where I'm just like, you know, grasp me at the straws. You're like, hey, no parents has a, you know, multi-million dollar like company and lineage. Batman. There you go. Yeah. Um, but uh, the other was it the other girl where it, it, it seemed like it focused more. I kind of like first I kind of felt like it was almost like out of. Uh, it kind of came almost out of nowhere. Was when she, you know she's just like, oh, like one of these people are like my dad, or one of my one of these people are like my dad, like, and I want to like find out who it is. Mm. And then it's kind of like the the circle thing about how like, they were all talking about it just kind of didn't go her way. Then all of a sudden she, or it didn't really go her way, but everything just got really serious at that point. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of take it as these things as like obviously everybody, every girl in this main group like has their own like. Uh, background and history or their baggage i guess so to speak of yeah. like you know things that have happened in their life and i personally took it as with rika for this episode um she really wants to be the center of attention for lack of a better word at the end of the day at least kind of as i see it and the fact that you know he to this point had never really revealed what was the things in her life that was really bothering her um, I think it totally makes sense for kind of her her lashing out and kind of her childish ways. I mean, they are children, but, you know, yeah. to act even like younger than what they currently are. Um, but I thought it was really cute as well, like the um, interactions that Rika and I had with each other, both on the couch mm-hmm. and then also when they're um, looking out over like the Tokyo landscape or Japan landscape. And she's just, like telling her like, oh, yeah, that's probably where my family's like bar is or whatever and stuff like that. And her just kind of like breaking down a little bit and being like hey is it okay if i cry now like i'm gonna be honest rika with you right now and tell you how i really feel and it's just like mm. damn for that I, I thought it was kind of a good spin too like when they when they were first doing like the whole thing where she like at towards the end of the episode where she was kind of giving up where mm-hmm. she's just like oh, i just don't want to like do this anymore i don't want to try and like normally you know like the where you just always see like the voices of like basically like the friends like you know reaching out you think it's going to be one of those 
David's favorite or favorite moments where it's power of friendship. Basically, Again, I thought of, I thought of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, you know, yeah, right when you first called it that, I was just like, "All right, here's the power of friendship coming yeah. in clutch." But it didn't happen this time. It was actually the power of the turtle. The turtle's a beast. Uh, when that thing busted out. <laughs> yeah, that was that was dope. Yeah, and that was actually what like kind of gave her like the the power to think of it, and basically she she, she saw herself as like the turtle's mom in a sense. And then uh, basically kind of snapped out of it from there. It wasn't really even like the, the friends that got her mm-hmm. um, out of there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought that was kind of a, a neat like little twist as well. Um, yeah. God, what else? I also I also feel like um, that uh, I, I feel like her mom knows who it is. But I feel like I just got the kind of like the vibes where she knows like who he is. And I just I just think of it that like he's probably like a complete douchebag. And he's not something is she's mm-hmm. and he's not somebody who who Rika thinks he actually is. Uh, I don't want to think of her mom as like a completely terrible person. Mm, I don't, maybe I don't think she knows. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Ku. Yeah. You don't think so? I, mean, I, I feel like she knows. She's just acting like she doesn't know. I think she knows too. <laughs> you think so? I yeah. feel like she doesn't know, but she doesn't want there to even be like the opportunity for Rika to know because that is an opportunity for Rika to leave. And especially at like the end of the episode, we see, you know, kind of this honesty from Rika's mom of just like yeah like I know I'm not the greatest mom I know what I do is not you know the most like um positively viewed you know kind of profession and lifestyle and she was like yeah if you leave me Rika like I I get it like you're gonna leave me but then Rika has that moment where it's like yeah I'm gonna leave you but not for not today or not for a while so I don't know I still feel like she's protecting her from from the actual bad I, I got. I think of all those vibes. I wasn't um, sure okay. about protecting her from the dad per se, but that there's some reason why she needs to keep it quiet. I, I got totally the same vibe as you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also like it's the, even like I. They kind of mentioned. I think they were like. I think like the whole thing was like basically how uh, or there were multiple sayings where they were saying like the mo- like moms aren't actually that bad, or like you need them in some way. Um, I can't completely remember what it was. I wish uh, I you, you, sh- you should protect your mother like you should protect your parents yeah yeah so they, something like that. So I, so I just yeah. keep i just keep getting the vibes like she's just like she's just protecting rika from like the actual who he is like he's either i just feel like he's just a garbage human being <laughs> and she knows this and just doesn't want to have rika know but that's what i think yeah, it very well could be it felt to me like because like it seemed like they were kind of trying to straddle that line of making it seem like she didn't care about Rika or Rika felt like she didn't care about her or something. But like, I never really, like, and, and like Rika even mentioned at one point that it seemed like the mom like resented her or something after the dad left mm-hmm. and after she gave birth to her. But that's really just not the feeling I got from her mom. Like her mom seemed to care. She just isn't yeah, a great I mean, mom. You know, she got like, her the cake and everything for her birthday though. Really looked yeah. good. So. She just seems like somebody who was traumatized by something to me. Like she's just not like in the best position to be a great mom and she just seems traumatized, but it doesn't seem like it seems like she cares about Rika. So I'm actually kind of curious to see where that storyline goes. I hope that we get to see that fleshed out. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm actually glad for the episodes they're focusing more on these elements instead of like the fighting elements. Yes, like they're, it's like brief definitely moments that we don't need them. I would. I mean, much they, point they need to part. right with how many episodes we have left and how much we yeah. still don't know about Nehru and Momo. I would say mm-hmm. are the two characters right. yeah. that probably in these episodes to come. Those are going to be the two main focus. I mean, like one episode for each of them. Yeah, yeah especially they gotta be the original too. And I mean, we're down to like very you know a few episodes left. So sorry, yep, yeah. I cut you off. <laughs> Oh no! I just want to say, um, I, I feel like the the mother does care about uh, Rika, of course, but I feel like I I really don't want to say it, but I feel like maybe Rika was an accident, right? It was just a woman who wanted to have fun. She had too many drinks. She made a mistake. She had a child, and all of a sudden, she's also a bar owner. So uh, you're kind of just stuck between a rock and a hard place. And as a single mother, you're doing your best. Yeah, um, is it a bar owner or is it their house? <laughs> so, it's like I mean, it's like it's half and house, half. The front yeah. is for like the bar, but then yeah, the little like back okay. room is you know their living yeah. accommodations. All right, continue. Right. Yeah, so I mean, definitely, I feel the love is there, but I really don't think the mother knows who the father is. It was just something that happened when she was out with these five guys. That's why she told Rika, you know, here's five guys. Good luck figuring <laughs> it out, right? But she even oh, made yeah. it so it's definitely one of these guys, though. Like it feels like it's it's definitely like it's it can't be anybody else. It's definitely one of those five, right? Because I mean, she was drunk, and usually when she's drunk, she's honest. So I'm sure she was not lying. She probably thinks it's one of these fives, or she knows it's one of these five guys, but she doesn't yeah. really know. So okay, yeah. Well, I guess like I, 
And now that I think about it, I was starting to tell your guys' uh, thought of, you know, the mom not wanting her to know who the dad is. I guess that makes more sense of, like, the two flashbacks that they kind of, I think they use the same flashback of, like, her in the car with the dad. And literally, like, the only main memory that sticks out with Rika, and as we learned, like, when we were first introduced to Rika, is her dad being like, oh, you know, beautiful girls don't have to pay for anything. So it sounds right. like even the dad is kind of like a, a sleazeball in terms of, like, how mm. he views, yeah. you know. The male versus female kind of like <laughs> roles in the society. Yeah. yeah. I definitely uh, feel like one of us, I think, has it right, though. Just from like the different... It's, it's got to be one of those, right? It can't be some... pretty much got our angles covered, so yeah, one yeah, of us. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> good. You know what? We can, we Maury, can't where miss. you at, Maury? You got to bring more in there. You are <laughs> not the father. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I told you. Do a backflip or something. I don't know. I, the only last thing is I can't remember. Uh, was it this episode as well when Rika was about to give in that like both the two alien like mannequin figures kind of oh, had yeah. their like conflicting ideals where one of yeah. them was very much so like, yeah, she's going to die. Like it was going to happen eventually, whatever. But then the other one was like, no, like we can't let her die. So it's interesting to see yeah. kind of yeah. as we've had these interactions with uh, Uraka, I think is his name. And then like the other one's like a spin off of that name yeah. um, where they like two sides of the same coin where you know in their kind of ideology so it almost makes me think that like that is potentially like one individual that's maybe just been split like very hardly in terms of this like light versus dark type thing but i don't know yeah Yeah, exactly some type of like focus on that or maybe it's just two people that are kind of similar where they died and then they got you know dragged in as like the game masters of sorts and they wanted somebody who was like very like high moral versus like low moral like, like focuses. I'm, I keep feeling more and more like they're not evil. I, I actually like truly don't think like they're that evil. Oh god, everybody's silent. <laughs> well, no, I'm just I'm just, either. Yeah, like yeah. I think they play a role similar to like Death Parade. I think they're like arbiters. Again, they, that's a good way to see. It, yeah, they're showing like emotions in a sense. So like Again, they're like talking yeah. mannequins. Yeah, well, the, 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 you know, the mannequins, like, they, didn't, they really didn't seem like they talked much or gave, like, really any kind of help. But mm-hmm. now it seems like they're starting to kind of inch more, like, towards, like, they're, like, where they actually, like, they're showing some sort of emotions, well, one side of it is, at least, mm-hmm. where they're actually, like, mm-hmm. dropping hints, and the other guy's like, God, shut the fuck up, what are you doing? <laughs> and just trying, like, right. like, and then the, the other good dudes just, like, wanting to actually, like, see them either grow, move forward. Mm. So I don't know. It's I do I don't know, David. If you it, this, the show is definitely picking up. It's uh, I, I keep thinking like the show's just been trending. It, the trend the show's been trending up for for a while now. Mm-hmm. For quite a few episodes. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, I'd say if this is the show that you didn't originally watch starting out this season, like this is the one to pick yeah. up against like, all the others. I'll definitely keep yeah, my I know eye the on it. Is, like really packed, but like next season would be the one to catch up to these these other shows. Yeah. Because it's looking yeah. like next season's gonna be a little bit slower. So, hmm. but I. Yeah, I mean, if we have a week break, then that's great. You know, we can focus on the other things. So, Mm -hmm. MVP. Oh, the other. Oh, by the way, the fourth animal was the the alligator or crocodile. I know we 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 couldn't remember last week. (laughs) Familiars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was very. I was actually funny that you mentioned because I was very focused when they showed them again, and I was like, (laughs) okay. Yeah, when when they went back when they were eating at the beginning, I I wasn't paying attention to the animals as a way, and I had to. I went back to just to make a note of that. (laughs) I think I did the same. Just got it in there. Yeah. All right. I'm good. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Yeah. We're All good. Right, so we're in it there for uh, one direct priority.